everyone, welcome to Magic Adventures. Are you ready to go back? I know I'm dying. I'm ready for these parks to open up. Hopefully it won't be too long. Now this video today is actually made specifically for our supporters on Patreon. Also our supporters on YouTube as well too. I know, you know, we're all needy in that magic experience. So I'll tell you what, if you want, come on a tour with our house. And what we're going to show you today is a lot of cool merchandise that we've actually purchased at the parks. But more importantly, a lot of cool stuff that Jamie's actually made Disney style for the house. So come on with us. Let's go on a magic adventure. This vintage Disneyland sign is something that we really love. We purchased it roughly about one month before the park closed. And yeah, you know, it's, they're a little bit pricey. Sometimes they're about a hundred bucks, but you know, it just looks great in our family room. So every time that we're having dinner or watching TV, we simply get a, you know, a reminder of our happiest place on earth, our favorite vacation spot. Around here, however, we don't look backwards for very long. We keep moving forward, opening new doors, and doing new things because we're curious and curious keeps leading us down new paths Walt Disney this is actually a um, wall graphic that Jamie made above our fireplace we have a painting by Thomas Kincaid it's actually Disneyland Main Street USA 50th anniversary and it's pretty much right in front of the statue where Walt and Mickey are pointing to the way to the happiest place on earth We've always been huge Thomas Kincaid fans as far as his art goes. And the interesting thing about this actual painting is that when I was doing some research, it said that Thomas Kincaid actually sat there for at least a day or so. And a lot of people that you see in the park are actually some of his family members. So that was kind of his motivation to paint his family members. And he was kind of remembering some of the joyous times that he had at Disneyland. Yeah, I know. So unfortunately, we can't be at Disneyland right now, but hopefully within a few weeks, so open up those gates and we'll all be the happiest place on earth again. Right above our television set, we have a Mickey through the years, kind of a, a, a wooden sign that shows Mickey Mouse throughout his whole career, starting from Steamboat Willie up until current day. So anytime we're watching TV, oh, I'm always glancing at Mickey. Always makes me happy no matter what. In one of our other bedrooms, I guess there's a few Star Wars fans that sleep in this room. Now, even though we're a welcoming family, there are some rooms that are somewhat restricted. As you can see, cast members only. <laughs> Where have you guys seen that at before? Above a lot of the entryways in our house, we have Mickey Mouse with this awesome Mickey Mouse graphic on each side of it. And if you look closely, you'll see a lot of hidden Mickeys everywhere. Now, even though it's surrounded by a few Minnie Mouse ears, this is a fantastic graphic that Jamie made of the castle. And if you look closely, if you look at the fireworks, it's kind of weird because a lot of times when we have the ceiling fan on, it almost looks like the fireworks are exploding at the same time. Since we're getting close to Halloween time, we're actually making a lot of these Disney Halloween themed hanging signs. We plan on hanging these throughout the house. We plan on having a fantastic fantastic Halloween party because we're not really sure what's going to happen this Halloween so we're going to celebrate with each other's company. Now I hate to admit it but we kind of have a mouse problem at our house. If you look closely on the floor by this floorboard you'll see Mickey, Minnie on their way to one of those mouse holes in our wall. Yes Mickey lives here and we're glad to have him and Minnie. As soon as you walk into our house we have a vanity desk with his home sign with Mickey and Minnie ears. And if you look closely, this is a pretty neat graphic that Jamie made. It's one of our first trips to Disneyland as kids. And she was actually able to make this, edge this onto a plastic graphic. And with lighting, it's pretty neat because it changes colors. If you look closely at the castle, you'll see Tinkerbell on this lantern. Now they're not necessarily hidden Mickeys, but there's plenty of Mickeys all over this lantern that Jamie made. Every time we look at it, it just something makes us happy. So I will say that this is one of our family's favorite Disney decals that Jamie has made. This is a pretty challenging project. If you look closely on the castle, 
Each one of those is pictures throughout decades of vacations that we've taken at Disneyland and California Adventure. I love, again, how Tinkerbell's up there overseeing everything. And also, more importantly, if you look closely on the decal, you'll see how Walt and Mickey are there for that famous statue pointing the way down to Disneyland Main Street and wishing everybody their best and magical wishes. So guys, again, thank you for taking this, you know, this journey around our house. And thank you for being one of our Patreons. We truly appreciate that. Um, if you like, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe. And also share this with all your family members and friends. And most importantly, thank you for being one of our Magic Adventures family members. We really appreciate all the help and support. You guys have a fantastic day. See you soon at the parks.